this artwork's for a new restaurant over at Ed Square called Bom or Bar Oink Mu, which is a really cool new Korean barbecue and bar that's opening on March the 1st. And this is the first stage of the mural. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Shoes are purple. And it's 34 degrees today in here and we don't have the aircon hooked in yet. But aside from all that, we are on track. Today is day two, working on this part of the big mural. The rest of the mural I'll be finishing towards the end of January. But this section is actually going in a spot out the front near the window, which is going to be closed off and then they're going to install some other elements in front of it. So I have to get this in before Christmas. You can see behind me, I'm doing the pixel bull. It's slowly starting to come together, starting to look cool. And I'm really excited for you guys to see how this big artwork is going to end up looking. pretty good about the artwork so far. I feel like I'm on track. This part is somewhat tedious because I need to map out the colors of each of the pixels and try to get it as close to my little reference as possible. Um, but I do want to insert some of my own creativity into it as well. So once I actually get the structure of the face right and it you know, looks like a pixelated bull, then I can start to think of ways how I can take the reference image in the background and make it more of my own artwork so that it's something unique and it's not just like a duplicate of the references and the guides that the clients provided me. So far it's getting there. I'm thinking that I may potentially need to, because the ball is somewhat colourful and the background is very very colourful as well, I'm thinking I may need to put a tertiary colour in between both and I'm still tossing up where I am. Sorry. If I want to have a very soft sort of drop shadow um, behind the bull or maybe like a metallic silver or something that just separates the bull from the background so it's not just a mash of colors. That's something I'm not really going to know until I've actually placed a lot of the colors in and then see how, how it actually looks. But yeah, it's getting there. We do want it to be really, really vibrant. But I also want each element to be able to stand out and I want people from far away to be able to really distinguish what it is. You can see I'm just sort of mapping out the face, just the main sort of structural elements just so that I can create the right colours. And the reason why I'm sort of writing what colour and stuff is so that I can actually mix one colour and then do the pixels, mix the next colour instead of having to go back and forth. It's sort of like, takes more time to do this but once this is done then it will just be fast. I'll be like a little printer. pixels but what I do is I've got power season 3 playing on my iPad there something to distract myself whilst I slowly plug in each color 
Um, sometimes I'll have podcasts on, sometimes I'll have music running in the background, something to just sort of make me not rush too much because one of the biggest issues with working on something that's tedious is that once you start to rush, you start to make mistakes and you start to get frustrated. So if I can switch my brain off and just sort of sort of like meditate on this artwork and just really be patient with it, then the end result is going to be much better and it's gonna come out exactly how I want it to. I guess I'm sort of streamlining the process that's especially important with something like this, which is like a pixel illustration because you want people from far to be able to actually tell what the pixelated image is of. So I'll make sure all the key elements of the face are right and then I can sort of experiment a little bit with the other elements as long as you can see the main form. That's why I'll mark out as many of the main blocks as I can, mix the colors and then we're off. working on this massive mural I've got some brown paint and I'm going to start mapping out the pixels and the main feature the bull behind it Christmas Eve I am almost finished just a lot of little pixels that I need to put in and I'm hoping that tonight I can finish this artwork otherwise Christmas is cancelled So where I've set the camera up now is the minimum distance that the viewer will be away from this artwork and it's really unusual because when you're doing your pixelated artwork you're sitting this close to it most of the time painting it and so you have to, I have to keep coming back to this spot right here and just making sure that we're getting the desired effect because it's quite a big piece of board that I'm actually painting on in, in the scale uh, it's very easy when I'm setting this close to lose perspective. But I feel like we've achieved the result and I feel like uh, it's really going to stand out it's going to grab people's attention. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Merry Christmas if you're watching this after Christmas. Tomorrow's Christmas. Um, Happy New Year and if you're watching it after New Year's, I hope 2022 is better than 2021.